Hey guys, it's Esther Gift the Hands coming to you with a new video on how I managed to sneak in alcohol on a cruise ship. It was very easy and I'm going to explain step by step so continue watching so you can be just as brave as we were. So the first way was with the wine bottle. Um, every guest is allowed to bring one 750 millimeter bottle of sealed unopened wine or champagne per person in their carry-on luggage. The steps in which doing this is pretty easy. You take the seal and gently remove it by sliding it side by side until it completely um, comes off. Try not to rip it or tear it or fold it. Then you take a corkscrew and remove the cork out. Then you take all the wine, take the wine out of the bottle, and take the bottle, rinse the um, rinse the bottle out with water. After that, you you take a funnel and pour the alcohol back in the bottle. So putting back the cork, you need to put it the opposite way. That way, it can fit in easier. And then you just take all your pressure and try to push it down as much as you can until it gets all the way down. And then take the seal and just put the seal back on. Let me add that this was a team effort. So without all of us putting a hand in and helping out, none of this would have been possible. So shout out to my crew squad. The second way was using concealable and reusable cruise flask kit that we purchased from Amazon. And it came with three 32 ounce and three 16 ounce flasks. So pretty much all we did was take the knob out and blew some air inside of it and then took the alcohol and used the funnel to pour the alcohol in the flask. Once that was done, we try to get all the air bubbles out so we squeezed the alcohol to the very top until all the air bubbles was completely gone. And then we hurry up and put the cap back on. Now packing the alcohol inside of your suitcase. I pretty much just put it underneath the liner of the suitcase. Took the zipper, found the opening, and put it right where my liquid was going to be placed at. So here I'm just zipping it back up and then I'm going to get all my liquids and products and putting it directly over the top of that. So here is, is an example of the liquids that I packed and I put one bag in the front and then a second bag in the middle. So putting the liquid right over top of it is just taking the focus off the actual flags. So when it goes through the machine and they open the suitcase they will automatically assume that it's alarmed because of the products. Now here I also wanted to mention that you are allowed to bring a case of 12 cans of soda or juice or any um, can items. Um, you are allowed to have one pack per person. So we did have our two packs. And here is where I place my wine bottle inside of my carry-on wrapped around in a clothing item. So we already came in and dropped our carry on. Do not use we got a few cans of soda and we ordered um, 12 bottles of water. And then, guess what, guys? It made it through our wine bottle. So my crown apple made it in safely. Now I'm waiting for my luggages to see if I got my other package. Hey guys, our bag is here. Well, my bag is here. So, look at it. I know. Here, 
you want me to take the little bit? The moment of truth. If if I see a letter, then I know. Yeah, if there's a letter in there, we know. But it ain't no, no letter. letter. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? My oh, your oh. phone. My moose. The moose. Oh, it's hard. Right. Oh, I was trying to figure out what room you're over in. Oh. All right. Are you recording? Mm hmm. Mission accomplished. Ooh, I'm feeling so make sure guys when you do sneak the alcohol, my trick was putting it in the liner of the suitcase and then I put liquid over top of it. But yes. I think it's yeah. <laughs> we saved money. Yes. <laughs> but they did not um, search my bag. Question is, why would you go through all that trouble to sneak in alcohol? Well, one, alcohol can get very expensive. Carnival provides an alcohol package, which is called Cheers, and it's $51.95 per day per person, and you have a maximum of 15 drinks. Now, who to say that 15 drinks is too many or not enough? Either way, you will still be kicking out six to $800, depending on how many days that you're on board. So guys, I am proud to say that we officially did it, and we did it right, so... I'm gonna share with everyone what we did. And yes, I was so scared. So that's why I only did one. I was not brave enough to do multiple because I was not trying to get fined. So long story short, we got our bottle that we already opened and make sure if you bring a bottle of wine, make sure to bring a chorus girl because then you won't be able to open it. And then, you know, we have this. I don't really drink, but my boyfriend does. So he will be drinking this alcohol and be enjoying it. And also will be saving money. So this is the final video of how to sneak alcohol on your cruise. This cruise is Carnival Horizon. And to be honest, it was very, very easy. And if you just... If you're just brave, you'll be able to do it. Anybody can do it. It's easy. <laughs> all right. So that is all, folks. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please. Mm, I don't know if you should share this because I'm telling y'all how to do some crooked, illegal stuff. But I'm also helping you, you, you guys out. So subscribe and like and enjoy your vacation while you're drunk and tipsy. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.